One of the hardest things about wearing glasses when filming yourself or live streaming is dealing with light reflections and glare within the lenses. So today, I'm going to be giving you some tips and tricks to help you eliminate that when filming yourself. My name is Andrew, I'm a filmmaker, content creator and a streamer on Twitch. If you're enjoying these videos, remember to give me a like down below, subscribe to the channel, also follow me on all my social medias, which I'll put in the doobly-doo down below. These aren't actually my real glasses. Well, they are, but the fake ones are the ones that just have standard normal glass lenses in them. They don't really do anything to correct my eyesight. However, I know a lot of people who create content on YouTube or stream on Twitch or whatever who need glasses on a day-to-day -day basis. So unfortunately, those people cannot just easily remove their glasses to get rid of the glare. They won't be able to see what they're doing. So they're going to have to change some things around their camera and set up with their lights to get rid of that glare and reflections instead. You may have already noticed but my setup isn't exactly a typical stream setup my camera's off to one side the lights are basically to the side of me and also I am sat in a profile view of my stream so basically I'm gonna be approaching this video today as a typical streamer with the camera straight in front of me with me facing my monitors. And yes, I understand not everyone has a fancy DSLR camera like this. However, if you're filming on a webcam, on your phone, even on a potato, basically these tips today are gonna help you get rid of that glare and reflection out of your glasses. Which brings us on to tip number one, and that is all about the position and angle of light. Currently, my camera is pretty much straight in front of me right now. The light, however, is right next to it on the same height as the camera anyway, and it's causing these like reflections in my lenses, as you can see. So to get around that issue, you're basically you're going to have to move your light out of the way. It's going to have to go up and to a side. So basically, it doesn't really matter what side you pick. Just pick whichever makes more sense for you. But raise it up as high as you can somehow and move it off to one of the sides. So as you can see, moving my light up and to the side gets rid of most of the reflections in my glasses. Obviously, I'm never going to be able to get rid of all of them because people move around when they're talking and heads move and whatnot. So obviously, in this direction, I'm doing fine. But if I turn to face the camera properly or look up towards the sky, I'm going to get a lot more reflections reflections in my glasses. However, for the majority of a stream or a majority of a video, I'm going to be looking pretty much straightforward like this and I'm going to avoid most of the reflections and glare and other such things that are distracting to watch. The next tip when it comes to removing glare and reflections from your glasses is actually to do with the size of the light itself. Basically, the bigger the light, the less distracting it's going to be because it's going to cover more of the lens and look a little bit more natural and organic as opposed to a smaller light like this, which is going to create specular highlights that are a lot smaller within my lenses. So I as you can see here, these are really distracting to the eye and obviously going to take you away from the content that the person's creating. You're going to be looking at this, the brightest part of the image, as opposed to what you're supposed to be looking at, this person's face. However, if you've got a bright light, a big one off to the side, like the one I have now, you can kind of see it, but it's less distracting in my lenses. So overall, having a big, soft, diffused light is going to be better than having a small one. Another bonus of having this larger, softer light is the fact that it ends up getting rid of the shadows that your frames create on your face. If you have a smaller, harder light, you end up with these dark lines across your cheeks, which honestly don't exactly look the most flattering and attractive for streaming and content creation. One of the downsides that you might encounter when having this set up with the light up and to the side is the fact that you end up with this really contrasty looking image. So you get a nice bright side of your face, but then another one which is kind of in shadow. I like that. I feel like it's a little cinematic kind of looking and it's a bit mysterious and cool. However, you might not like that so to combat that you're going to need a second light basically and you're gonna to have to use it at basically similar angle to so put it up high put it to the side and it will help combat that and make it a little bit more even to look at obviously i'm wearing a hat right now and that's going to block some of the light coming to my face so i know that it doesn't look as even as it should however i assume that you are probably not going to be wearing a hat for your videos and your streams and whatnot so yours will look a lot more even than mine does a few guys out there that are saying i can only afford one light i can't afford a second one to counteract that contrastness i'm poor andrew what am i gonna do well, there are some things that you can actually do, mostly one thing that you can do to uh, improve that contrast ratio and make it look a little bit more better. More better? That's not English. So for you guys that don't have a second light or can't afford to buy one, basically you're going to have to find some stuff around your house. Either you're going to need a big white piece of cardboard or something like this, which is a white piece of fabric. I understand it looks a bit yellow, but that's because of my lighting and white balance and whatnot, but I assure you it's a white piece of fabric. And what you want to do with this fabric is hang it up, put it on the opposite side to where your light is, and it should fill in your face or at least the dark part of your face. So as you can see now, it's a little bit better than it was before, less contrasty, and without it, it's darker. So obviously, yeah, bit of fabric, that'll help you. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video today. I'm sorry that it's not as long as my other ones. However, 
there's not really much I can actually say to help you out other than what I have said. There's nothing you can really buy or purchase or do other than just faff around with your lights and make them bigger to get rid of those glares and reflections and whatnot. As always though, if you like the video, remember to like it down below, leave me a comment asking questions or giving other people advice on what you do to help your lighting with your glasses and whatnot. Subscribe to the channel for more, I'll be uploading as much as possible and I will see you all in the next one. Night Owl out. Peace! person. Dead. Definitely gave my position away though.